everyone, it's Miss Philly. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Um, okay, it's such a beautiful, it's such a beautiful day lately, a lot lately. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm pointing this way into sunlight because the sun glistening on my face makes me look less like a monkey girl. Good lighting from the sun. Thank you, sun. Thank you, Mr. Sun. You give a bitch look good. We're gonna go to Value Village over, where are we? Where are we? There? There we go, right there. Um, I'm not gonna find anything today. I'm not even gonna have a freaking positive attitude about it because I know we aren't gonna find something. I just need vlog footage. Early in the morning, it's like 10. So usually I like to get things done early. I'm like an early bird. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm going to turn the camera around because my face is looking like freaking homo erectus. Okay, let us go. Let us find, let us find some good things at the thrift store. I swear to God, these people think I'm freaking insane. And they probably think I'm wearing the same shit every day. When a matter of fact, I own eight pairs of these leggings, same color. Three pairs of this jacket, same color. I think I stank. <laughs> they probably think I'm some bitch that don't change your clothes. That just goes thrifting all the time. Okay, get away from my bags. Those are my bags. It's a cute little bucket bag. Let's see what kind of treasures we will find today. Mm -hmm. Oh, the poor little Esprit bag with the damaged strap. Who are you? Okay, what are we? What are we doing here? What is this? This looks like Herschel, but I don't think it is. It? Oh, it's a gap. What is this? This looks expensive. Is that Salvatore Ferragamo? Ferragamo, sorry, someone corrected me before. It looks like a Ferragamo. It's just China. Oh, what's this? Very Birkin. Oh, it's Aldo. Gross. No, I don't want that. What's this? This looks substantial. Never heard of it before, though. Sometimes I feel like one day they'll be like, bitch, you need to stop filming in our store. Ooh, this is cute. Oh, it's a fake Fendi. Look at this fake Fendi. Is it a fake Fendi? Looks like a fake Fendi. We're gonna hold on to it and examine it more. It looks fake to me, I'm not sure. Oh. This feels like Matt and Nat. Oh, it is Matt and Nat. I got it such a good eye. <laughs> 10 bucks for Matt and Nat. That's a good deal. Like I showed you guys in my last vlog, Matt and Nat sells for like 80 bucks at, the, at uh, on sale at freaking Winners and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So, I don't know. Should I get that? It's only 10 bucks. What's this? What's this trying to be? Oh, no. What? Cute bag. I don't know. It's like a bowler style bag. I don't even know if that style's in no mo. Oh yeah. Okay, we're getting that for ten bucks. I've only really sold one mat and that bag though, and it sold for like fifty. But I lotted it with um with a a wallet. I don't know. This style is so it's cute though. It's big. Big and dark. The handles are good. Yeah, we're gonna get it. There's this Fendi. Okay, I hate when they clip things on here. I don't know. Let's just examine it. Non Fendi. Let's be real. Be my JLo. It looks kind of. I don't know. Fendi has a serial number, don't it? Don't it? And the chains don't really feel substantial, but then again, the chains on my Chanel didn't feel substantial. 
Okay, that screams I'm a rich bitch, right? If that doesn't say I'm a rich bitch, I don't know what does. Except the Birkin, maybe. I need to Instagram story this. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my hunch and say that this bag is fake. Only because the gold hardware just kind of looks sloppy. Like, look, you know. And I don't think that uh, Fendi wraps their wraps their zippers and paper like that. <laughs> and also, this is a little bit concerning as well. This uh, that I don't think Fendi tarnishes like that either. But it's cute, but not for thirty-five dollars. It's just. I was considering getting it for myself to use, just as whatever, you know, but I figured, what's the point? I have a preference in bags and what I like, so there's no point in getting it for myself either, you know? I don't know if I want to get this now, this, because... Matinat's not a huge seller for me, to be honest. It's not. Although I do like the bag. Like, there's this Matinat too. Green one. This one's $17.99. But yeah, they priced this one at $9.99. A little bit of a more fair. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good vegan brand. And it has a luggage tag inside. Oh, maybe we'll get it. I have. I don't have to use my 30% off. I have a $2 off coupon for this, but I don't know. If I'm going to resell it, can I get $15, $20 for it? Oops. Might be a stretch. Yeah, I'm going to put it back. I need to be a little bit more careful with the things I thrift and resell because things have been slow lately. I don't know. Things have been kind of slow lately when it comes to reselling. Well, I think I'll put it back. Yeah, we'll put it back. We need to be a little bit smart. So I decided to put back both the bags just because, like I said, we need to be a little bit more smarter with what we're thrifting because, yeah, I don't want to hold on to stale inventory. And the matinette, although a good price, is just not worth the, the risk. Ooh, this is cute work as is without cord. That was cute. 60 bucks? Holy shit. Without cord? Then how is it supposed to work if it doesn't have a cord? That's a really... If this was like the 2000s or 90s, you would be so cool if you brought that to the beach. Not even fronting. What the hell is this thing? I want those old school um, digital cameras. I'm actually glad for my age because, you know, I got to experience the whole not being a slave to internet and all that stuff. Like, I, I remember when cell phones were just cell phones and cell phones weren't uh, popular. Like, when I had a cell phone in school in 1995, I was like one of the only two other kids in school that had a cell phone. And people would make fun of me. And people like, ugh, who she thinks she is. I also remember um, having those like TVs, like those portable TVs. And my mom bought me one from the Bay. It was $500 and we weren't rich, okay? We're not rich anyway. She bought me a TV. I brought it to school and <laughs> it could only connect to analog stations. So I would only get our local stations, but we would watch it at school. The battery only lasts for maybe like two hours, but I was so cool with that TV. It had like a big ass antenna. And then I remember I had a cousin who lived, uh, who came here from England and her parents were from Asia and she brought the first like Nokia camera phone in my city. Nobody had a camera phone and everybody was like, oh. and I brought that shit to the mall and 
everybody was crowding me. They're like, oh my God, your cell phone has a camera? What the F? And like, like these hot guys working at Foot Locker and, and stuff were like, holy crap. I ordered my phone from, from the US and it only has an attachment camera. It was like the old Sony Ericsson camera where you had to attach a camera to your phone, but mine had like a built-in camera phone. And it's so nice to experience that. Not a lot of people can say they did. I mean, unless you're like younger, I mean. I remember dial-up when it took like forever. You had to listen to that go doo -doo 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 <laughs> before you connected to the internet. Um, yeah, there's just being at the age I am and experiencing the technological advances we've had in our lifetime is just very, very interesting. It's a packed house today again, as usual. I keep saying I need to stop thrifting because I have so much inventory, but I'm telling you, it's addicting. Like, I can't stop buying shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Let us look and examine. Fake Michael Kors, eight fifty. Someone's gonna buy this and think it's real. I should just like go over to the trash and throw it. <laughs> Probably get kicked out of here if I do that. Haven't found anything so far. I shan't find anything. I love this song that's playing right now in the store. Reminds me of 1993, back when times were easier. Just haven't really found anything today, which is fine. I don't really care. Well, I care, but I don't. I'm not hurt about it. But Nancy has found a, an authentic Longchamp, a Kate Spade. Like, what else has that? girl found here that she's even keeping from us because I miss you yeah I miss you I mean that you love me I know that you love me I know that you love me scared to live and you'll see They have these Swarovski pouches. I don't know if these sell on eBay well, but there's like five of them. Okay guys, so I'm thinking of getting this Lululemon because it's only $19.99 plus I have 30% off. Um, I like the color a lot. Usually they price this at $29 or $24. I mean, I could wait till the weekend, but I don't know. I like the color a lot of this. I'm going to get this... Um, Anyway, yeah, this is cute. We're gonna put it over here. And then, oops. And then this Columbia, I really like that the spell out is on the front. It's only $6.99 minus 30%. It's really good, not faded. What the hell is this, Tom Brown? Isn't that like a really big designer? Made in Japan, tell me. I need to look this up. I know Tom Brown. I think Tom Brown's expensive. It looks really well made too. Look at the detail here. I'm pretty sure they sell that at like Nordstrom's and stuff. I'm gonna look it up in a second. Nike I like as well because it's old school Nike print. We're just gonna take that out. But anything retro is in, of course, as usual. And yeah, we're gonna get those. So I found this Burberry Brit um, hoodie, size small, good deal, excellent condition too. And the coloring isn't faded, yay! Good thing we looked in the clothing section. That's cute. 
I tend to go, not to sound like, you know, rude or anything, but I tend to look for the smaller sizes because, like when it comes to high-end designer, because I find that high-end designer or like that um, tends to go with smaller sizes rather than bigger ones. I thought this was cute, but not for 10 bucks. And we will look over here quickly and then we're gonna go. We didn't find anything in the bag section. And yeah, so what is this? And why is it priced expensively? Oh, it's Lulu, that's why. 30 bucks? That's hella expensive, but hella cute. I love the the cut of it. It's really cute actually. 30 bucks? No. I mean, it is cheaper than buying it retail, but come on, it's used. The Michael Kors Velour, the Tom Brown, the Lululemon, the Burberry Brit Avi, and these two hoodies. I find hoodies are in right now, especially since fall is coming soon. And these can be really unisex, so that's good. Plus they're a smaller size, so this is like a men's medium. It could be a woman's large. This is a men's large. It could be a woman's extra large. So, really good deals here. Okay, guys. So we got, um, so we got the Michael Kors, the Lululemon, Tom Brown, Burberry Brit, and the Nike top. And I paid basically for five pieces, forty to sixty. Um, I should have paid like over sixty. <laughs> Um, I think that's a great deal. I can probably at least double my money. I should have waited until they're 50% off sale, but I mean, for these brands, they're not going to be around by then. Um, yeah, I used my 30% off coupon. That's why I got a good deal on them. I don't even know why I'm buying clothes so much, because I mean, I don't really sell that many clothes, really. <laughs> I mean, I haven't listed on eBay. I've just listed on Depop, so maybe I should list it on eBay and I'll have more luck on that. I don't know. Because right now on Depop, I've only been selling bags and accessories. I haven't really moved any clothing except for one, one Juicy Couture set that went to someone. But yeah, that's about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for thrifting with me again today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and the old ones, of course, that have been very supportive. If you follow me on Instagram, I said there was like this dog out there with uh, a guy who's asking for money. Well, actually, he didn't even ask me for money. Um, I just said I'll give him some on my way out. But um, um, he was nice and he conversed with me. And he, you know, he told me his name was Daniel and he's homeless, but he has a dog, which I find kind of weird. But um, Oh, there's this really cute cop. I don't know if you could see him. Like you can kind of see him. I don't want to. I don't want to um, show his face because I mean he could be like you know get arrested. Oh, there he is right there. You can kind of see him. He is so cute. And he has like this tattoo. And I think he's flirting with like the girl who works there. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. I would so totally date him. But um, I think he's flirting with the cashier, and she's like older, like. 40s. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, I'm not really saying anything. <laughs> I'm just saying she looks like a married woman. Um, but yeah, so I think that if um, if you uh, think it, oh, he's looking this way, the cop. But anyway, yeah. Um, so we're going to, we're done, and I, I don't, I don't know. He's cute. Oh, guy, average guys who are decent, who are in uniform, are hella, hella hot. Like. Hello, police officer. Cuff me up, tie me back, bend me. <laughs> Getting overboard. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to say that. Yeah, I gave him like, can I bought a lotto ticket? So, hold on, we're just gonna put this over here. <laughs> so we bought a lotto ticket. He's like, I don't know if he knows I'm vlogging or not. But yeah, we bought a lotto ticket and then I gave him my change because um, I don't know I just felt like I just felt something <laughs> not even just the dog 
I just felt something like for him too. Like, I'm just, I'm just that kind of person. I'm just like a giving person. <laughs> uh, I told him to keep cool because it's really, it's gonna get hot. It's like plus 26 right now. Hopefully he has a home for him and his dog. Because for me, I'm, I'm really passionate about animals, even though I eat them. I know, I'm such a hypocrite. But I just, uh, I don't know. It's just a very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm torn on that topic of becoming vegetarian because I love animals and eating them because they taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling the lady inside, like this lady came up, like she was beside me and she's like, don't give him any money, he's just gonna buy smokes. And I'm like, we don't know that. I don't like it when people assume things. That's one of my, one of my pet peeves and when people go on assumptions without any facts. I'm a very factual person. I deal with facts, you know. I, if you don't have facts to prove to me, like you need to have your receipts is what, is what they say. <laughs> if you don't have receipts to show me to back up what you're saying then whatever you're saying is just assumptions and it don't mean shit okay <laughs> anyways oh I want to talk about that cop again the thing is with that cop he wasn't even all that like he was just average like probably my height like 5'10 5'10 and a half he had an average face and he wasn't like overweight or anything, but he wasn't like built and he wasn't like fat. He was like average. But like the fact that he was in a uniform, the fact that he had like that barbed wire tribal tattoo on his arm was like, damn. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can pistol whip me and take advantage of me right now. The fact that he was flirting with that lady at the counter, like she looked like, she looked like Susan Boyle. And I'm not saying Susan Boyle is an unattractive, not saying that at all but I'm just saying that it's not usually someone that would be hit on by someone like that is what I'm saying I don't know I don't want to sound like a jerk with what I'm saying but I'm just being real okay and one must assume that she has an awesome personality and that he's been frequenting that 7-eleven like probably every day this summer and they got to talking and he loves her personality and yeah and like yeah so that's why that's what I think when it comes to myself is that I need to be around someone like forced to be around someone consistently all the time so that they fall in love with my personality and not with how I look because I don't think someone would fall in love with how I look you know so that's what I think about that like, either I need to meet someone at work, or I need to meet someone um, at school, or volunteering, or I don't know. Just where you, you have to be around someone for extended periods of time. So that they get to know you and interact with you, you know. That kind of thing. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go pick up a Michael Kors bag for $45 that I showed you in the previous clip online. But I wanted to stop by Valley Village first and see if they have anything. Um, never know. You might find something, right? That Thomas, that Tom Brown shirt or sweater that I thrifted, um, it was, uh, it's gonna sell for like $125 or something like that. Well, they have like a fake Louis over here. True religions. Nothing here. Nothing cute. I'm definitely going to check out the men's sweaters over here because, I mean, this is Value Village where I found <laughs> Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Chanel twice, mind you. This is hella cute. I've also found Fendi here before, so... I saw this lady with a bunch of True Religion jeans, but you know what? True Religion has not sold for me at all. 
I've tried to flip those before to no avail. Oh, is he MK or is it fake MK? I think it's fake MK. <laughs> it's a really good fake MK. A couple of teeth missing from here, so it's kind of problematic, but it still works. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get this because fake MK sells for me. I just don't, uh, I let them know very profusely that it's fake MK, not a real MK. Really cute for like a fake Hamilton, but, or Hamilton wannabe, but I don't know, not for 20 bucks. You can probably get like, I don't know, like 20. <laughs> so if I'm paying 20, then, you know. We priced Victoria's Secret tote right here, this one, for like this one for $35. Like, are you on crowd? Oh, look at this fake Chanel. Look at that. It's torn right there. I actually have one of these at home that I kept from another bag. Too bad it doesn't have any other hardware besides that. And I probably would buy it. Look at that. If it had like a big CC logo, I probably would buy it for that price. This is way overpriced. Um, $35 for something that's well used. I mean, if the bottom wasn't like all discolored and cracked, then it might be justified, but not for that. Definitely not. Okay, they're closing soon, so we're gonna have to go look somewhere else. Let's look at like the, the jackets and see if we if we find any uh, Tommy Hill figure because that's what we need to find. If you guys know that that's uh, that Tom Brown, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know you know me by now. Sorry if I'm talking nonsense. You guys know what I'm trying to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's go through the sweaters because that's where we found the Tom Brown. And, oh, right here. Ooh, what is this? Is this a record player? Ooh, it is a record player. I wonder if it works. Let's try it. white folk areas again but this time they're like old school money not like the new money this area is more like old money to our amazing guest with five dollar gourmet individual pizzas choose any gourmet pizza like our famous spicy pierogi or the rustic italian or the classic pepperoni or get creative the destination is on your left 338 montrose street dine in and pick up only high five day five dollar pizzas on monday august 14th only at boston pizza when our sun shines brightest and our nights come alive, right. the eyes of the nation will be focused on Winnipeg. The 2017 Canada Summer Games are here. 4,000 athletes from across Canada compete in the largest celebration of competition, sport, and culture. This is the hottest summer in half a century. Proudly supported <clears throat> by funding parties, the government... If you've still got cable... Okay, guys, the bag is in, like, perfect condition. She let this bag go for... A little bit of staying there, but nothing too bad. If we can fix that up. Um, corner wear a little bit, but not too bad. For $45, this is actually a really good deal. 
It is a factory outlet, but it's okay. I mean, where can you get a Michael Kors bag for $45? And you have the crossbody and the top handle, which is nice. Um, but of course, she was like one of those, you know, skinny, blonde, privileged white girls. Not to be racist or anything. It seems like we've been running into a lot of these privileged white people getting rid of their bags that they don't want anymore. I love this house right here. This one that we're coming up across. Oh, like it's not too big. It's immaculate. It's well kept. And I would totally love to live in a house like that. I've always liked this area. It's called the River Heights area. Um, a lot of nice kind of pristine, um, not mansions, but you know, bigger houses, but older, older styles. They're all like original looking. Like if you look at them, they're not like your typical suburban areas where all the houses look the same. They all have character to them. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, thank you for coming along with me. Bye. I'm going to share with you guys a tip. If you saw it on my Instagram feed, then you saw it there. But these corners were warping, like they were severely distorted. And I thought I'd try this out and clip it. You can use like a, a clothespin or a hair clip like I did. And just, just take it out. And it strains it perfectly. Like, look at that. I wish I took a before picture, but before it was like literally like freaking doing some contortion shit up in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, fix it like, fixes it like a charm. I only had to do that for about 24 hours and it fixed it. So yay. This is Tom Brown top I thrifted. It was in the women's section, but this is actually a men's top. But I mean, it could be unisex, but um, it's a size two, which is a men's medium in his line. I know that Tom Brown, I've heard him from other thrifters before. And when I looked online, I just, his name just kind of resonated in my head. And I just remember uh, him being a high-end brand in New York. This I saw online selling brand new for 409, 405 pounds. That's pounds. So that's about, that's over $800 Canadian. And it's insane that people would pay those prices for this. I mean, I only paid $12.99 minus 30% on this, so less than $10. Um, everything is authentic on it. You can tell by the tags. And it's just, when you feel a quality piece of clothing, you just can tell. Like, this is not no Walmart shit, okay? <laughs> The material is nice and soft and thick. The labels are just perfect and well made. And the design and the label there underneath, it's just all, it just all equates to having a nice high-end piece of clothing. And I don't know, I'm, I'll list it on eBay for $120 and see what happens because it's in pretty much pristine condition. There's no wear on it whatsoever. And you know, those fashion guys, they'll pay a pretty penny for high-end shit. <laughs> Hey guys, so as you know, I was selling my Tom Brown long sleeve uh, shirt on eBay. I thrifted this today. Uh, earlier part of this vlog, you'll see I thrifted it for like $12.99 minus 30% plus 13% tax. So I paid like less than $10 for it. Now I listed it, I looked online, did my research. I found out that it, it sells online for 405 pounds, which equates to about 800 Canadian dollars plus tax, obviously. Now, I listed it on eBay for $250. I thought that was a fair price, especially in the condition that it's in. Secondly, as you can see, like, look at the condition. It's like flawless. Like, there's no wear, no um, fading, no snags, no pilling. It's, it's a really nice top. Now, I've heard, of his, I've, I've heard of this brand before based on other thrifters that I watch on YouTube. And that's why I spotted it. And it was actually, it was actually in the women's section. So you have to, like, really dig through things you don't know where things will be put i guess because it's a small size and it looks kind of slim i mean high fashion is usually for slim guys anyway from from like, from what i see based on anyway yeah i found it in the women's section which is, is just basically a fluke so i listed it for 250 dollars. i got an i got an offer within i guess 10 minutes of listing it i've never had that happen before and then I wanted to think about it for a while. I countered, and he was very eager. He sent me like two messages asking me if I thought about it, blah, blah, blah. And then he counter, he offered me 125. I countered back at 200. Then he countered back at 130. I countered back at 190. And then after that, uh, I think my his final offer was 175. And then I off I countered at 185 and I never heard from him again so 
that's kind of like the greedy side of reselling is if you ask for too much or if you want too much then you might lose your buyer but after that like literally maybe like 10 minutes after him not responding i got an offer from someone else and they offered me 180 the full amount that i wanted uh, initially so then i counted back at 200 he countered back at 185 i countered at 190 and he accepted and he paid so I guess there's a light in the silver silver, silver lining. Uh, but yeah, so that was a really, really good score on this top right here, Tom Brown. I wasn't aware how popular he was, because I mean, there are brands out there that are hella expensive, but then they don't really sell re like on the resale market really well. But I guess this brand sells really well. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't return it, because I do, I do offer free, I mean, not free, I do off offer a seven day return policy on my eBay store, so yeah. I'm gonna but I'm going to pack this really nice with tissue paper and in a nice box and all of the above um, I want to make it as presentable and nice for him when he opens it anyway guys thank you for watching I hope you have a great weekend bye now so I'm wrapping it right now sending it out I want to wrap it really pretty so that when he opens it it's like really really pretty for him like boutique <laughs> pretty make it make a point that um, I wrapped the shirt in bubble wrap and then put the tissue paper on top of it and around it and under it <laughs> make sure that the bubble wrap is under the shirt as well so that none of the tissue paper if you have colored tissue paper will be touching the shirt just in case there's color transfer not that i've ever experienced that before but you want to be protected especially for a high priced item like this